Hey you guys and welcome back. Today is going to be my 2018 beauty favorites. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the makeup products that I have been loving in the year 2018. I almost said in the month of, but this is a yearly favorite, so these are all the products that I loved throughout the year of 2018. I just want to clarify that these are not like my all-time favorite drugstore products. I do have a couple videos out where I talk about my all-time favorite drugstore videos. I can do a updated version of that if you guys would like. Today's video is just going to be products that specifically stood out to me in 2018. I did this video last year as well and a lot of those products that I loved in 2017 I still loved in 2018. I still use them like all the time but I wanted to limit the number of duplicate products that I'm talking about. I will link 2017 favorites down below and I will link my all-time favorite makeup um, from the drugstore video and I will link my drugstore starter makeup kit because I think that one is also very helpful and it, it has a lot of my favorite products in it as well. That's kind of all I wanted to say about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. I'm at the most annoying part in the office right now. I'm watching the office for the first time in case I, you guys didn't know that but I'm watching it for the first time and I'm at the really annoying part where Michael leaves Dunder Mifflin and like starts his own Michael Scott paper company. I just want to get through it so I can get to some better episodes. It's been on my mind for a while now and I want to tell you guys that I'm kind of annoyed by the office right now. A lot of these products I actually use in my everyday makeup routine. This is the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. This has been a go-to for me throughout the year. It's just a really amazing primer. I feel like it preps my skin really well. My makeup seems to last longer and look better throughout the day when I wear this. I did talk about this product in 2017, but I was using it as a setting spray back then, and this year I really started using this only as a primer spray, and that's how I like it better. I like, I prefer it as a primer. It smells really good, it makes my skin feel and look really good, and I've just been loving it. That's pretty much the only primer. I'm not a huge primer person. I don't wear a lot of primers on an everyday basis. I pretty much just use that spray. 2018 for me was a year when I really cut down on the amount of product that I was applying on my face. I really started simplifying my routine and trying not to like put too much on my skin. Something that really inspired that was my discovery of BB creams and CC creams. Prior to 2018, I hadn't been using a ton of BB cream type products and then in 2018 I really started using those instead of foundations and actually I have not worn foundation in a very long time. Even for special events I end up just using my concealer. That's what I feel most comfortable in. I really have preferred BB creams and CC creams. A couple of them that have really stood out to me are the L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream. I really like this product. I think it looks really nice on my skin. It feels really good. It's very lightweight. It has light coverage where your skin still shows through, but it does kind of even out my complexion. It almost gives like a luminosity to my skin. Nothing else in my collection looks like this when I wear it. This is definitely a standout product for me this year. And then CC cream wise, I really liked the Marcel CC cream. This is a Canadian brand, so I don't know if you have it in other countries. It is expensive. This is drugstore, but it's like $30, so definitely wait for it to go on sale. I think it looks really, really nice on my skin. I love the way it feels. And it also is packed with good ingredients. I lost the little sheet where it had everything listed on it, but it's meant to do a lot to your skin to help improve your skin. It's kind of a half skincare, half makeup. I think this is a really great product if you want to start wearing less on your skin. I think grabbing a CC cream would be a good option because it's a little bit lighter. It's not as light coverage as a BB cream, but it's definitely less heavy on your skin than a foundation. Love this one. Would totally recommend you guys get it if you have not already. Like I said, I have not been wearing a lot of foundation lately, but doesn't mean that there were not any good foundations that I tried this year. So I wanted to mention three for you guys. First one is probably my favorite foundation, I think of all time. Like I don't wanna, I don't wanna say of all time yet. It's definitely a favorite foundation of mine, and if I am gonna wear a foundation, this is the one I typically reach for. See Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. I really enjoy this foundation. I think it looks really nice on my skin. It has a beautiful glowy 
and luminous finish. It doesn't look like a foundation, doesn't look like I'm wearing a mask, it just looks like my skin, but it has really good coverage. Definitely a standout product for me this year, foundation wise. And then two other foundations, one of them is kind of a matte foundation, but I'd say it's more like a satin. This is the Superstay Full Coverage Foundation by Maybelline. This is my favorite foundation that Maybelline has. If you need something that's going to cover and hide a lot of things, this is definitely a great option at the drugstore. It's full coverage. It lasts a very long time, depending on your skin type. I have normal to combination skin. For the most of the time, I feel like my skin is very normal. Like I don't get greasy or oily so much by the end of the day, unless it's like summer and it's hot. If you're looking for something very high coverage at the drugstore, that's gonna last you a long, long time. Another great foundation from the drugstore that I've really enjoyed, CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. The standout brand for me in 2018 was CoverGirl. They completely like rebranded a lot of their line and they refreshed it. This foundation is really great as well. I think this has amazing coverage. It's not like as full as the Maybelline one, but this definitely has, I'd say, medium to high coverage. It looks matte on my skin without looking dry. It's just been a great product. I really liked it. I actually don't have a favorite concealer from 2018. Pretty much was using the same concealers that I used in 2017 and I didn't really try anything new this year. All of my favorite concealers kind of have stayed the same for a very long time, but I did want to mention this concealer kit, and this is something I did mention in my 2017 favorites, but I want to mention it again because it's really good, and it's the Rimmel Insta Conceal and Contour Palette. I'm wearing this on my skin today. I'm not wearing any foundation today. I'm just wearing this and like an under eye concealer. This is pretty much all I use on an everyday basis. It's just so reliable for me. I wear this to special events. I wear it to work every day. I wear it on a weekend when I just want to cover like a pimple or a dry spot or something like that. I hope Rimmel never discontinues their Insta line. I think they really nailed it on the head with their whole Insta makeup line that they came out with. Probably one of my most used products in 2018. Uh, I guess we can talk about powders. The first one should come as absolutely no surprise to you guys. This is probably my favorite product of the year. It was a product that I discovered in 2018. It might be my favorite product, like makeup product of all time. I think it is, like it's so, so good. And this is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. I use this every day on my under eyes. I'm wearing it on my skin today and it just gives my face such a beautiful glow. I don't want to like talk so much about this product because I feel like I talk about it all of the time. It sets my makeup but it keeps that dewy finish to my skin. I think if you're dry skin you would love this product. I think if you're combination or normal skin you'd also really enjoy it because it'll give you that dewy finish without making you feel greasy and without making your skin turn oily. It's just such a great product. I cannot stop using this. I love the way my skin looks when I wear this. My skin has never looked healthier than it has this year and I'm thinking it's mostly due to this product. I cannot rave about this product enough. I think everyone needs to get it. It is so good. It's so good. I use that Milani Prep Setting Glow product pretty much in my T-zone area and to set my under eye concealer, but to set the rest of my face, I've really taken a step back from matte products. I mean, there are times when I want to look matte and I feel like it makes your skin look more airbrushed and things like that. One powder that I've been using pretty much all year to set the rest of my face, like not the center where I use the Milani powder, and this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. I've already gone through a full pan of their warm beige shade, I think it's called, and this one is in the shade Warm Light. I definitely need to get darker versions for the summertime. Sometimes in the summer when I don't want to wear makeup but I do want to cover some redness, I can just grab this powder and it's going to do the trick. Like it will cover the redness and you don't have to feel like you have a thick layer on your skin of like cream or liquid products. This has definitely been my go-to setting powder. It's not a new product, but it's definitely a good one. This is the thing about doing a yearly favorites. By the end of the year, I feel like I've forgotten what I loved at the beginning of the year and like halfway through the year. I know that I have used up a lot of setting sprays this year. I think I've used up 
all of the setting sprays that I owned. I currently only have one. I'm gonna talk about it because I do really like it. I think it's really great if you have dry skin or if you just want something very hydrating. And it's the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. It's a very fine mist, so it's not gonna leave huge water droplets. And I think it makes my skin look very glowy and dewy. I'm wearing it on my face today, and I really like the finish of it, the way that it sets my skin. I like the way that it kind of melts those powder products into my skin and it just gives me such a fresh and glowy appearance and it also smells really great if you like the smell of coconut it smells very strongly of coconut this is the covergirl true blend serving sculpt palette like i mentioned earlier covergirl really stood out to me this year all of their rebranding everything i thought they did a really great job and this product is no exception i think this is such a good quality Product. I'm wearing it on my skin today. I wore all three shades. I love products that are like the all-in-one kind of deal So when I can have a trio like a bronzer blush and highlighter in one Those are always like favorites for me, but the formula of this is really good as well The bronzer is very smooth. It's super soft and smooth and buttery. It blends into my skin really well The highlighter is also really pretty. There's no chunky glitters or anything. Just overall this has been a standout product for me I take this with me whenever I stay at my parents' house for the weekend, whenever I'm traveling, which is not very often, but if I am going away for a couple of days, this is like my travel palette. It has been a great asset to my makeup collection this year. Then, some kind of a little bit of a boringer product, I think. The e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit has been my go-to eyebrow product this year. I don't spend a lot of time on my eyebrows. I mean, I'm sure you guys have noticed, they're kind of just crazy and bushy and I don't spend a lot of time on them, but this has been my go-to product this year. I have had it for a long time and I think I started using it again because I wanted to use it up. Turns out I really like it and I use it every day now, so. So eyeshadow palettes were not huge for me in 2018. I didn't really try a lot of new palettes. I think I was just so set on the Makeup Revolution Soap X palette, which is still like my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette. There hasn't been an eyeshadow palette that I've loved more than that one. I don't think I felt the need to buy eyeshadow palettes or um, try new ones, but there is one that I did try this year that I want to mention, and it has been a standout palette for me this year. It's the e.l.f. Rose Gold Sunset Eyeshadow Palette. Now, mine unfortunately fell when I was at my parents' house last, and it shattered, so a lot of the shades are broken. This is the palette I'm wearing on my eyes today. All of the shades in here are pretty much equally good. Very smooth, very buttery. They have just the right amount of pigmentation. The mattes blend beautifully on, on my eyelids, and there's like nothing bad that I have to say about this palette. Like the color selection, I like the formula. I think it's e.l.f.'s best eyeshadow palette that I've tried. I really enjoyed it in 2018. I don't have a favorite mascara. I don't think I had any mascara that really stood out to me this year. Mascara is just, I don't know, I don't feel very passionate about mascaras. So I don't have any mascara to share with you, but I do have a eyelash primer that I think is really good. And again, I'm sorry for all the CoverGirl stuff, but this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplify primer. I'm wearing it on my lashes today. It definitely volumizes and lengthens my lashes. It can look a little clumpy depending on what mascara you apply on top, but I still love the effect of this. I think it really makes my eyelashes pop, just makes them look more luscious. Whenever I have a special event where I don't want to apply falsies, which is a lot of the time, I will just apply this primer and then my regular mascara on top and it works like a dream. And last but not least are lip products. I thought I had a lot more like lip finds this year that I really enjoyed and I cannot for the life of me think of any. So I only have three to share with you. One of them I talked about last year and you guys probably know what it is already. It's still my favorite liquid lipstick formula from the drugstore, so I thought I would mention it again, and it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. My personal favorite is the one in the shade Cowboy. This formula lasts a very long time, definitely through a meal, which is super important because I don't like reapplying things throughout the day. It's comfortable, it doesn't dry out on my lips, so I wanted to talk about these again and mention them just so you guys didn't forget that it's my favorite formula at the drugstore. But another really good liquid lipstick formula that I discovered in 2018 is the Maybelline 
Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. Definitely not as good as the L'Oreal one, but I still like it, and it also has a lot more variety in the color selection. This one is in the shade Ruler, which is one of my favorites. I also like the shade Fighter. The last lipstick is also a liquid lipstick, but I feel like it's more of a satin liquid lipstick, so it's a little bit more comfortable. It's the one I'm wearing on my lips right now, actually, and it's the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip Velvet Finish Liquid Lipstick, and this one is in the shade Berry healthy. I love the formula of this. My personal favorite is the one in the shade Nutritious. Nutritious. Oh my god, I can never say that word. But that's my personal favorite. The formula is great. They're so comfortable. They glide on your lips. They don't feel dry. They don't dry out throughout the day. They kind of fade naturally without crumbling. They're so soft and pillowy. They don't feel like anything on your lips. I wish they had a little bit more color selection like in their range but a great formula and I had to mention it. If you guys were wanting to try something like a liquid lipstick but you wanted it to be as comfortable as possible, definitely check out the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip Liquid Lipsticks. Okay, that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys. Those are all of my favorite products from 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorites were from the year, what you really enjoyed using in 2018, what your standout product was. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!